It's a cheetah, leopard. Which one has spots? A leopard, right? Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the haul video. It's the haul video from the shop with me that was yesterday's video where Emma and I went to an antique mall here in my local area called Fun Finds. I also went into another small little thrift store and Goodwill and another antique store. So I'm gonna combine all of this haul into one video. So I'll go ahead and get started with the items that I got from a little thrift store that was in the same town of Mitchell, Indiana where I went to Fun Finds which is a little thrift store called Regeneration. It's a place that I really like going into. They have a lot of fun things in there. I got a few things in there. I got three things in there. This first thing is something I'm going to probably tuck back for Christmas, but it is this little vintage, probably vintage from the 90s. They are little gift cards or gift tags that you put on your packages. And they were 50 cents for them. And I like that they were flocked. So the red part on the Santa suit and the stocking and the mailbox are flocked. So they're, that means they're fuzzy. I don't know. I just like them. So I will put these away for next Christmas and I will use them on packages. I also got these two Thermo Serve plastic Kindle motor oil GT1 racing oil mugs. They are the Thermo Serve brand probably from the 70s maybe the 80s um i should they were i think a quarter a piece and i should sell them for maybe six dollars each or maybe twelve dollars for the set of them on ebay so it was a small enough price to make a little bit more of a profit margin they're easy to list easy to ship they're racing items they're, they they go good for me i do i do pretty well with motor sports and motor oil type items on eBay. And I also found a fairy lamp. I found a fairy lamp. This was the only one Now I went looking for fairy lamps. The title of yesterday's video was we were hunting fairy lamps because we were, but I only found one and it was at this thrift store. I think, I don't know if this is a Fenton one or if it's Indiana glass but it is this frosted with the little roses on it fairy lamp it and it was made in taiwan i don't think that this is fitting correct me if i'm wrong but i just don't i don't think that it is but maybe it is it was a dollar fifty so i couldn't pass that up it's in pretty good condition there are a few small little nicks around around the rim of it that's the only issue I see with it. It has this really pretty transfer roses on it. Now, you know, you can look these up. If you're looking for them on eBay, you can look them up as fairy lamps or angel lights. I've even saw them called courting candles. C-O-U-R-T-I-N-G. Courting candles. Just a little tip there. You can look for all three searches for them on eBay, but... Nice little fairy lamp for $1.50. You just can't go wrong with that price. All right, and that's all I got from that little thrift store. Um, and then we went into Fun Finds in Mitchell, Indiana, which is a place that's, it's a fun, it's a fun place to go. It's a fun place to go. And I did, I think I spent $70 on everything that I'm about to show you from Fun Finds. I did get two more of these Fred Rogers mugs. I have one complete set. I need to get them listed. And then I have kind of the beginnings of another set. And I don't remember. I have to go over there and look to see if these are the ones that I don't have. But when you find them for a dollar a piece, it's definitely worth getting and tucking them back until you find a complete set. Because a lot of people don't exactly know what they are. They are these, basically these little pedestal mugs. And they have birds on them. People do collect these. And if you have a complete set, you can get, you know, $30 or so out of them on eBay. So if you see these at the thrift store, even if you don't get the full set, just picking them up piece by piece. And then eventually, if you've got the place to store them, you can find your full set and you can put them on eBay. So when I find them for a good price, then I go ahead and pick them up. Um, I also got the little, gosh darn it. Are they, this? I know it's not a tiger. It's a cheetah leopard which one has spots a leopard right 
a leopard or cheetah. It, it's this cat. It's a chained cat. Exotic cat from either a leopard or a cheetah. Help me out, people. What, what are you? I, I don't know, but you are a mama and you've got your little babies. The mama looks a little ferocious, but the little babies look so sweet. See, they got their little spots. I don't find a lot of these exotic chain gang animals. I normally will find them, you know, you find the bird, not the birds. That would be, that would be rare if you found a chained family of birds. Might be interesting, but you find dogs and cats a lot. But I don't really find these guys. So I paid up for them a little bit, but I don't know. I just thought they were neat because it's not something that I normally find. And sometimes you just go with your gut and you just buy things because you feel like you should. And that was kind of my feeling on buying that family. Um, and I also got these little shakers, these little tog shakers, and they're adorable. I like these. I like these big eyed animals. I have several of these. These are little hound dogs. Look at their big eyes. They look so sad. This one's definitely giving you some side eye. This one's, well, I guess they're both giving you some side eye. They're both made in Japan. Cute little dogs. I just think that they're adorable. So I got those. And I got some planters. Well, I'll, before I show you the planters, I'll show you the plate that I got. Now, this plate that I got isn't typically something that I, I pick up and buy, but it just spoke to me. And again, again, if something speaks to you, you should just kind of go with it. Go for it, right? It is made in, it says Victoria, Austria. And it does have a hand painted number down here. And I think that it's 114. I mean, let me show you the back first, and then I'll show you the front. And here is the front of this lovely gal. Here she is. She's got her teeth showing and everything. She's smiling, showing her teeth, which I think is kind of odd because you don't, you know, when we smile, I don't know. I just, I liked, I, you know me, I always look at faces on things and I liked her face. I think she's lovely. She's got a flower in her hair. There is a little bit of wear here on the transfer itself. The transfer around the rim of the plate in this gold is very lovely. It, some of the gold is faded a little bit around the rim. And on the back here, it has a little bit of extra paint on it, but there's no chips or cracks. And I wanna say I paid maybe 350 or so for this. I can't remember, it's in the video yesterday. But it was a great price. I thought she was lovely. I love the color contrast with that teal green and the mustard yellow. So this would not be a plate that you would eat your meal on. You would put it on a little plate stand and use it in your decor or hang it on the wall or use it in the background. But I don't know. I just thought that she was, she's a smiling girl with her teeth. And I just liked her. So we bought her. We bought her. We need to think of a good name for her. I don't know. The first name that pops into my head is Esmeralda. I don't know why. Doesn't she kind of look like an Esmeralda to you? I don't know. Leave me a comment down below what you think her name should be, and we shall name her. I kind of like Esmeralda, though, I have to say. I don't know why that name speaks to me, but it just kind of does. Okay. I got some planters. I paid $8.99 for each of these planters, which yes, is paying up for them. I know, I know that it is, but they're figural animal planters and I just can't, I have a hard time passing them up when I see them in really good condition. So the first one that I found was this bunny in a log. And I don't know, I wanna say that the majority of these are, are probably American Bisque. And then I did get one Royal Copley. So I do believe that these are all American Bisque. But, I mean, I know that this one for sure is not a Royal Copeland because the paint is just a little, well, it's not, it's not as great. But it's this little bunny sitting on a log. Cute, right? It has beautiful crazing on the bottom of it, which I, I love me some good crazing. I, I just do. Some people don't like crazing and that's okay. I am a crazing lover. I love the crazing. To me, it shows the, the age and, and kind of the, a little bit of the history behind it. So I don't know. I like the, the crazing on it. 
this is definitely, they're all three definitely American made potters, Ameri which, you know, American bisque would be, but um, I don't know. I just like the little bunny. I don't quite know. Well, it kind of looked, well, okay. Yeah. You can really tell. It looks like you can tell from the back there where it has brown. I think that he's holding an acorn in his little paws. He's going to put it in this tree. But you could put a little plant in here. You know, you can put an air plant in here. Someone had sent me a an idea for these planters, and I think that's a fun idea to put your makeup brushes or your makeup sponges or your Q-tips and stuff so you can make your little makeup vanity look fun with these vintage planters. And I think that that was an excellent idea. So thank you for sharing that with me. It's a great idea. Also, all of these items will be available except for the mugs. I probably will put the mugs, the racing mugs, because I don't think that y'all really want the, the racing mugs. But if you do, you can still send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. The address, my email address is right there scrolling down below, but it is also always in the description of all of my videos. So send me a message if you see something that you are interested in and we can talk about the price and the shipping and all of those things. And you can buy directly from me and not wait for the live sale. Okay, I've got some more planters here. I have a little lamb planter. This one is American Bisque too, I believe. And it, it is a cute little springtime lamb planter. It is USA. It is marked USA on the back right there. But he's just a little lamb frolicking in the tall grass. He's got a sweet little face. But again, you know, could you see like your makeup brushes and stuff? Beautiful crazing on this one as well. No chips or cracks. A nice chonky piece of American made pottery. Just well, well done. And it's just a fun, fun, fun piece pottery piece. This would honestly be really good to give to someone as an Easter gift. You know, Easter is coming. We're getting through the winter time and we're, we, we can see Easter in the horizon. So Easter is coming in the future. All right. The next two ones I got are so cute because they're cats and I love cats. There's this one. Now, I don't know. This might be a little, like a little Persian cat, maybe just a little brown cat. Look at his little pink ears. Isn't he so great? He's also in excellent condition. Nice chunky piece of American pottery. His little V eyes. He's fun. But you could also, again, put your little Q-tips or something in here and put him in your bathroom or cotton balls would be really cute too. Excellent condition. No chips or cracks on him either. Again, I did pay $8.99 for all of these planters, but I just couldn't resist. I really just couldn't. And then there's this cat. Oh, I love this one. This is a little cat sitting next to this little fish bowl. Do you see the little goldfish in there with the eyelashes? Oh, look at the eyelashes on that fish. Oh, the kitty has eyelashes too. Nice little rosy cheeks and a little blue bow on the back. It's so cute. Look at her little rosy cheeks. She's really wishing that she could eat this fish, I do believe. But also very good condition. No chips, cracks, or flaws on it. Beautiful crazing. Nice American chonky. A good chonky piece of a pottery planter. I love it. Little kitty cat. Little mischievous kitty cat. And then I got this royal copley swan and i have not seen this one now in the video you saw that i i picked it up and then i put it back down but as i was walking out i grabbed it because i thought no i've not seen this one before it's lovely it's royal copley it's got that beautiful paint finish on it and it's a planter it's a tall planter so wouldn't this be cute for your makeup brushes yes that would be great it's royal copley Excellent condition. Again, it was $8.99, but I've not seen this one before. I like the shape of it. Beautiful, beautiful planter. And that was all that I bought from Fun Finds. Again, I spent 70, I think $70 and some change, which is a little, a little much, but you know, when I find these figural planters, they're getting harder and harder to find. So I get excited when I see them and I pick them up. All right, and then we went over to Goodwill. Now I got a couple things, uh, like some clothes and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna show those to you. The only thing of, of sustenance that I want to show you that I got for resale at least, was this uh, sugar bowl. It's a piece of restaurant wear. 
It was a dollar ninety nine. Just the tag. And let me see on the bottom. It is. Okay, it took me a few minutes to kind of scrape the sticker off, but it is Jackson China, which this is a new one for me. I've not found this one before, but you can see there it's Jackson China from uh, Fa something Falls Creek, Pennsylvania. But it's in excellent condition. They, you know, Goodwill likes to, well, I mean, I can't really say I blame them for taping the restaurant wear lids to the bowls because how else are you going to keep them together? So, and this restaurant wear is pretty undestructible, so, or indestructible. Indestructible was the word I was looking for. It still has a little bit of sugar left in it, so we'll clean that out. But look at the airbrushed quality paint finish on the lid. That pretty gray. I liked the design on it. I'm sure that this has a pattern name. I'll maybe consult with Barb. She seems to to know all of these patterns on these. She studies this restaurant wear china. So a friend like that is a good resource to have. It can help you out, save you hours upon hours of searching yourself online. So that was the only thing that I got from the Goodwill for resale. And then we went into another antique mall here in town and I, what did I spend? I spent $20 and I got not very much stuff, but I got some good stuff. I got another enamel, um, oh, what, what are these? Little, ah, what are these called? Little, uh, coffee, Turkish coffee, Turkish coffee pot, but it's this really pretty green. It almost looks like Esmeralda's green. Ooh, they match. Esmeralda, you got a Turkish coffee pot here to match your plate. But nice little enamelware piece. These look really nice with an airplane in it. I love the color on it. So got that. I don't, I think I paid $4 for it for this. And then I got some really cool linens. I'm so excited about these linens. This one's pretty, but it's not as neat as the other couple that I got. But this one is a nice table runner with these pink are these what are these are these daisies well i don't know my animals nor my flowers today no holes in it really nice piece so i got that and then i got these other ones and oh my gosh this one here i know will be pretty popular because i have a lot of ladies out there and gentlemen that do like to buy these western pieces and things with horses or equestrian pieces on them and i found this dresser scarf or table runner and it has the mama horse and the little colt on each end so it's a rectangular shape and on each end it has this fun little horse motif it does have a little bit of staining little coffee stains or tea stains on them but you just i mean I, animals it, today is an animal theme. It's an animal theme today. And in fact, while I'm talking about animals, tomorrow my live sale is going to be a special one. It is going to be all animal themed. Not only that, the biggest animal we all know, Jeffrey, will be at the sale because he's coming to visit. So Jeffrey will also be selling things. It's going to be an animal Misty Jeffrey event. Of, of a sale, of a live sale. So you have to make sure that you tune in tomorrow at one Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Jeffrey and I always have a lot of fun when we're together. So he's bringing some things from, from Illinois. He's bringing them here. So we're going to have a combo sale and then we're going to spend the evening shipping together and it will, it will be fun. Maybe we'll go live. Maybe we'll go live. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know what we're going to do exactly, but We'll figure something out, but it's going to be a fun sale. So if you're able to attend, I really would be happy that you came. Now, none of these items will be in that live sale. So if you want any of these items, except for the Fairyland, because you know I, I took these back for my live sales, um, you make sure that you send me an email because, um, you know, they'll be available in another sale in the future. Okay, this last table runner that I got, I think is probably my favorite. It's got a little wiener dog on it. Look at him. He's wearing a little hat and chewing on a little leaf. Oh my gosh. And it's double-sided. So you get 
you know, you get two for the two for the price of one on each side of this table runner. Uh, and it is in excellent condition. There's no stains, there's no rips, no tears. But oh my gosh, look at this little baby on there. He's wearing a little sun hat. He's so stinking cute. Oh, I love this one so much. So fun with animals. It's an animal theme this week. So this haul was, uh, other than Esmeralda, the this, the sugar bowl, and the racing, well, and the fairy, well, it was, it's a pretty heavy animal themed haul today. It was a lot of fun. Sadly, Emma did not find some things that she was looking for, but I'm glad that she went with me and I'm hoping that she will be going with me to a lot more places in the future. She is going back to college here very soon. So sadly, that that time will come to a, a short close when she goes back to school, but we've had a lot of time with her being here and going shopping together. So um, I hope that we get to do more of that you know, coming into the future and over the summer. So it's been a lot of fun. But thank you so much for watching this haul. Make sure that you do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Like if you think that Esmeralda is a good name and if you think that these are cheetahs, cheetahs, leopard. Isn't a, le a leopard has more, I don't know, we're not going to get into it again, but you can let, you can let me know what you think again. But thank you so much for watching. My mind has been just a little bit crazy everywhere this haul, so I apologize for that in advance. But I wanted to go ahead and get this haul out so you were able to see it and invite you to come along to the live sale this Wednesday, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It'll be with myself and Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope that you can join us. And until then, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow during the live sale. Bye. Thanks for watching.